What's up everybody, this is Arif's US here and today I'm going to show you how you can add a third-party SIP phone in Cisco's Unified Communication Manager. So some people aren't aware that you can actually use uh, a non-Cisco phone, a, a straight SIP phone in CUCM. Uh, so the way you do that is with what's called a third-party SIP phone profile. Uh, so the first step in doing that is because if you guys understand how a typical normal SIP phone works, that all it normally cares about is that it wants the IP of the PBX, in your case CUCM, and it wants a username and password. And some phones also want you to specify the, uh, the phone number or extension. Okay, so the first step that we have to do here is actually add the user that's going to authenticate. So go to user management and click on end user. I'm going to click on add new. Okay, and I'm going to give it a user ID of just SIP user. And why don't we give it a last name randomly of Real Tech Talk. Okay, and what's most important here are actually your digest credentials. Okay, digest credentials are going to be the, the password that you actually use. So some people actually confuse it with just being the standard password that's associated with their user. So make sure that you set your digest credentials down here. This is all we care about for authentication. Okay, and we're gonna save that user. Okay, click on save. Okay, now we have to add the phone. Okay, so let's go to device and phone. Okay, I'll click on add new. Now under phone type, it's not gonna be a Cisco phone, of course, because this is not gonna be a Cisco phone. We're gonna be using the 3CX soft phone. So in general though, for the average third-party soft phone, you can just choose third-party SIP device and basic. Okay, and then you click on next. Okay, and so it needs a MAC address. Now, the MAC address, obviously, uh, we don't really care about it. Um, so I already have it here. You just put um, something just like this and just, um, you know, just, just like that. Uh, we don't have to specify um, a real MAC address. It just, uh, it doesn't matter. It's not used to authenticate the phone and it's only used uh, for the Cisco phones. Uh, so for device pool, we'll click on default now this is also important here. Um, so for your owner user ID, let's use the one I created, SIP user, okay? So this is very important, the owner user ID, that is gonna be uh, the username and the password under digest credentials that I just entered. That's gonna be how I log in to CUCM. So very important uh, that we specify that, okay? And we also have to uh, specify the device security profile. So this is the standard one, SIP profile once again. We'll just give it the standard SIP profile, okay? And also, once again, uh, digest user, uh, the most important thing. Uh, you wanna have a SIP user as your digest user, because uh, that's gonna be um, who you authenticate against. Um, so, yeah, so the owner user ID, that is is uh, the owner uh, in CUCM, right? Um, so that could be how you log in, uh, but it's totally separate uh, from the digest user. The digest user, um, here we're specifying who actually um, is the login user for the credentials that we're specifying in our soft phone or the actual physical IP, uh, SIP IP phone. Okay, one more thing. I have to specify the, uh, the template button. Oops, this one here. Let's give it the third party SIP device basic. Okay, so we're almost there. The only thing we have to do now is add the uh, DN. Because we don't have a DN, we don't have a phone number, then we can't uh, make or receive phone calls. Okay, so let's go to add a new DN. Here we'll say 6,000. Click on save. Okay, 
Oath of Hunt Save again. Yeah, it's really weird. You actually click on Save twice when you add a DN this way. Uh, so just uh, be aware of that. Um, we'll go back to our device config here. Okay, so it looks good. We have a 6,000 here as our DN. We've associated the right user to the account. Uh, and really, really important here to make sure we can actually authenticate is our digest user is suffuser. Okay, so let's go and see if I can make that work now. Okay, I'm here in my 3CX. I'll say create a profile. Uh, let's remove the previous account that I had, make a brand new account. Uh, so here I'm going to give extension of 6000 because that's the DN that I just assigned. Uh, username of SIP user because that's the SIP, uh, that's the name of the user that I created. And enter the password, the digest password credentials that I created that are associated with it. And also very important, you've got to give the IP of CUCM here. Okay, so hit OK and hit OK. Yeah, we're just waiting now for 3CX to refresh. So good, it says on hook. So this means everything's good. How do we make sure that's really good though? Here, let's just keep this one up here. And why don't I get uh, my CIPC client here? Okay, so uh, this is 2000 on the CIPC. Let's see, can CIPC call this number? Okay, good, yeah. And could I answer it? Yeah, so I'm now talking to myself, all looks good. And let's see, can we dial in the other direction? Just make sure everything is good. Uh, why don't I dial uh, the Cisco phone from here? Okay, and can I answer the phone? So once again, yes, we're all good. Uh, so it, it's not very hard to get it going. It just you have to remember all the settings that you have to set up in CUCM, and especially the digest password and associating the digest user. Uh, otherwise, you won't, you won't be able to authenticate if you only do half of those steps. Uh, so I hope this shows you how you can associate basically any third-party SIP phone. Now, I've shown you here using 3CX, uh, but there's no reason why you can't use any other standardized uh, ATA or SIP phone and add it to CUCM. So it's really cool that you have that option. It's extremely flexible that CUCM has this. And once again, this is the Reeps US here. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I'll see you next time.